Busy families are always looking for some quick and easy recipes for dinner, and today we're bringing you just that. Welcome, Phil Joy, chef extraordinaire. Good morning. Good morning. So, geez, it smells delicious in here already, Phil. I'm, I'm excited. I've been eating a lot over the holidays, and you'd think that I would be done eating so much. But now that I see what you're making today, well, my appetite has come back. Well, we're moving towards the Ukrainian Christmas. Lovely. Not too far away. So today, our friends from Chimo, we bought some whole wheat pierogies. I'm mm -hmm. going to show you how to make a great dish. Okay. Great for breakfast, mm -hmm. great for lunch, and so easy to prepare. Now, these pierogies don't look like your traditional pierogies. Are these the whole wheat? They are the whole wheat okay. stone ground with fresh potato. And what we do, we put them in the pan mm -hmm. and just lightly saute them in a little bit of canola oil just to get okay. them browned like this. Mm -hmm. And then once they're sauteed, they go into a baking dish. Okay. And the great thing about this recipe is it can be pre-prepared ahead of time. Oh, perfect. So, hot pan, mm -hmm. we have a little bit of diced pepper. It goes into the pan, give it some sizzle. Yep. Some onion. I know pierogies, they're in love with onions. Oh, they you just bet. gotta have them. Give that a, a light and quick saute. So, yes. most important aspect of cooking is put the love in it. You oh, gotta okay. put some salt and pepper. Mm -hmm. and don't ever miss that step. Get you know, some that seasoning flavor. there. So we give that a nice quick stir around. This is where we need the smell of vision for our viewers because it smells so amazing in here. Thank you for that. Now, I put a, just to speed things up today, I, mm -hmm. I usually cook some bacon in there, but okay. just to speed things up, I pre-cooked it and we're going to add that to the pan. Okay. Quick saute mm -hmm. and into the bowl it goes. Find my bowl here. Vegetables go in there. That's easy. Okay, and you know what? You can that. rest at this point and not do anything else and then come back to it later. Okay. And coming back to it later involves two eggs. All right. And we have the information on this recipe so you don't have to struggle to oh, write it down. Oh, you bet. We will have that posted up on our website in don't no forget, time. Don't forget the eggs need a little bit of love. Some salt and pepper on there. Mm -hmm. And then a whisk and whisk those together. Ingredients that are in everyone's kitchen. Oh, okay, so this is pretty easy. Everything that's in your pantry, in your fridge already, you're just scooping them up and put them in all together. Ready to go. Lovely. Sour cream. Pierogies have to have sour cream. Oh, yeah. Okay, are well. we doing the full fat sour cream today? Of course. Oh, lovely. That, that's not to mention that you can't, you, you can also do the less fat if you all like. All right, well, we only have 45 seconds okay. left, so we're so running out of time. So the milk goes into here, okay. one cup and a half of milk. It all goes right. over the pierogies mm -hmm. and into the oven. Lovely. So now we're ready to go to bake. Okay. We'll finish it off with a little grated cheese on the top. Oh, yummy. And we're doing cheddar? This is cheddar cheese. Okay. You can do a balance of cheeses in there. You can put a couple of cheeses Excellent. if you like. We'll put that to one side. The magic of television will show our viewers the finished product. Switch my hands and out of the CFRI oven. Lovely. Comes a beautiful mm. pierogi casserole. That looks absolutely delicious. Thank you so much, Phil Joy, for coming in this morning. Again, the recipe on my our pleasure. website, ctvedmonton.ca, and click on CTV Morning Live. Now I'm going to have to taste this. Good morning, 821. The sun is slowly starting to rise right now. We're seeing mainly cloudy skies in Edmonton, and we are currently sitting at minus 3 degrees. Minus 9 degrees is your current temperature right now in Red Deer. A little bit warmer up towards Peace River. We're sitting at minus 7, and a similar picture for us over towards Slave Lake. Uh, no snow yet in Edmonton, but keep your eyes out for it. We could very well see it before the noon hour. Grand Prairie Slave Lake already seeing some of that winter white. Uh, this afternoon, looking pretty good. We're warming up way above the seasonal norm. One degree for your high in Grand Prairie as well as Red Deer. Uh, minus two degrees in Slave Lake. Edmonton, you're going to see a high of four degrees this afternoon. A nice mild day ahead of us tomorrow. Enjoy it. It is going to cool down as we head into the weekend. Minus one on Friday and it looks like grey skies and snow to kick things off on Saturday. CTV Morning Live Weather, sponsored by The Brick. Nobody beats The Brick. Good morning. Happy Wednesday. So we're taking a quick peek here of Calgary Trail. Southbound as you're approaching the White Mid's getting a little bit slower for you. We're seeing speeds between 40 and 50 or so. And it's been pretty busy for most of the morning there. 
As we're taking a look at 170th at the White Mud, things are getting a tad slower as you're going northbound traffic along 170th Street. So a small slowdown patch speeds between 25 and 50, but southbound traffic along 170th is looking pretty good. Now, the Henday at Sher Park Freeway, everything's looking good in both directions. We're not seeing any significant slowdowns for you there. And along the White Mud at 50th Street, 75th Street, again, things are looking good. We've been seeing an improvement along the White Mud, which is always positive news. On the Yellowhead at 97th Street to 170th Street, expect your trip time to be about eight minutes. No slowdowns, major slowdowns, I should say, on the White Mud Gateway Boulevard to 34th Street. That should take you about six minutes.